the donkey of the day. That's pretty fun. Charlemagne the devil? Possibly. <laughs> the Breakfast Club. <laughs> hey, donkey of the day for Monday, June 5th. Goes to Bill Maher. Uh, I watch Real Time with Bill Maher every Friday at 10 p.m. on HBO. I think Bill Maher is great at what he does. I don't agree with everything that comes out of his mouth, but so what? There's nobody on this planet that I agree with 100% of the time. Uh, I am a God-fearing man. Bill Maher is an atheist, but that doesn't stop his show from being any less entertaining. And on Friday's show, Bill Maher was having a conversation with Republican Senator Ben Sass. And this happened. We'd love to have you work in the fields with us. <laughs> work in the fields? That's part of that. That's... <laughs> Senator, I'm a house nigga. <laughs> no, it's, it's a joke. Now, when I first saw that, I thought three things. Number one, I said, oh, sugar honey iced tea. Mm. With a chuckle. The reason I chuckled, because I actually thought that the joke had great timing. And he actually used it in the proper context. Number two. I chuckled because I knew as soon as those words left his lips that this one isn't going in well for him. Number three, a white person can never use the N-word in any context. I also chuckled because that was a rookie mistake. I don't expect that from a veteran Caucasian like Bill Maher. Bill Maher is 61 years old. He was born in the Jim Crow segregation era. He was born eight years before the Civil Rights Act of 1964 was established. Bill Maher, not some young white kid who grew up on hip-hop who thinks that the word is a term of endearment. He knows all the baggage and blood that comes with the N-word, and he let it fly off his tongue with no remorse. Can play the clip again. You got the clip? You got it? Keep it up. Keep it. Play it again. We'd love to have you work in the fields with us. <laughs> work in the fields? That's part of that. That's... <laughs> Senator, I'm a house nigga. No, it's, it's a joke. Older white people are really losing their minds. Between Kathy Griffin and Bill Maher, I can't believe they're making such rookie mistakes. It actually seems like every white person in America is getting in trouble for offending people, except Donald Trump. But back to Bill Maher. I can't get over how much of an elementary school mistake this is. In the Cultural Handbook of Race Relations, chapter 1, verse 1, it says white people shall not use the N-word under any circumstance. I don't want to hear rappers use it and black people use it amongst each other. That has nothing to do with you. Okay, white people using the N-word will always be a trigger. And it's a simple rule to follow when it comes to stuff like this. If black people are telling you they are offended because you use the N-word, then don't use the N-word. It's simple. When it comes to the gay community, when it comes to Asians, when it comes to Jewish people, when it comes to women, everybody knows you can't play with those communities. People in positions of power like Bill Maher, especially in the media, wouldn't even think about using slurs against those groups because they know it will be swift consequences and repercussions. So grant black people the same respect. I can't even believe I have to say this in 2017. I know the lines are blurred and white people are of the culture and they go to YG concerts and sing my N-word, my N-word, but nah. The word has too much blood on it, and it seems like every year it's a situation that happens that makes me question, why do we even use the word at all? Okay, we can't continue to say that we use it as a term of endearment and we took the power out of it when situations like this remind us that the word still has plenty of power. Can we play the clip again? Just play it one more time for me. We'd love to have you work in the fields with us. <laughs> work in the fields? That's part of that. That's... <laughs> Senator. I'm a house nigga. No, it's, it's a joke. Bill Maher could have said, if white people would have been slaves, I would have been in the house. That would have been smart. That would have been funny. But instead, he went for it and said house N-word. When you see a white person say the N-word in light of history, there is no other context for us to take that in. Do I think Bill Maher is racist? No. Do I think he meant to offend? No. But he did. And that's the other side of freedom of speech people don't discuss. You have the right to say what you want, but people have the right to be offended. And when you offend people, there will be consequences and repercussions. Now, of course, Bill Maher put out one of those insincere apologies that people put out when they get backlash. He said, Friday nights are always my worst night of sleep because I'm up reflecting on the things I should or shouldn't have said on my live show. Last night was a particularly long night as I regret the word I used in the banter of a live moment. The word was offensive and I regret saying it and I'm very sorry. Now as a person who offends people by accident all the time, I can honestly say sometimes you say things with no intention to offend and you end up offending. 
But a white person saying the N-word is not one of those times. Okay, you are 61 years old, Bill Maher. You have been alive longer than black people have been out of segregation. You know better. I really can't even believe that I have to tell a white person in 2017 that they can't use the N-word under any circumstance. Don't get that comfortable, especially when you're in the media, okay? We can't control you all using it amongst yourselves and saying it behind our backs, but we can have a say with you using it on your platforms. And please stop with all the insincere apologies that you only release when you get backlash because they don't work and just because you say no offense doesn't mean we can't be offended please give bill maher the biggest he heart please <laughs> i'm just all saying right. there's, there's just some things you should know all right right especially as a media personality who has a lot to lose right yeah there's just some things you should know the breakfast club 